if you ever wondered what lengths some people would go to steal cryptocurrency. Well, let me tell you a story that will leave you both shocked and entertained. Uh, it all started when executives from a client company fell victim to a cunning scheme. Uh, they were lured into going on a business trip to Montenegro only to find themselves kidnapped upon arrival. Uh, the kidnappers demanded that the executives empty their crypto wallets, resulting in a loss of approximately $12 million. Uh, the news of this incident reached the ears of Chang Peng Zhao, the CEO of Binance, one of the largest cryptocurrency exchanges in the world. Known as CZ in the crypto V community, he wasted no time in taking action. Binance swiftly investigated the on-chain activities and reached out to their partners to freeze the stolen assets. Now, thanks to their quick response, Binance is able to prevent the bad actors from making way with over 90% of the stolen loot. Out of the $12.5 million, they'd successfully foiled the kidnappers' access to $11.8 million. It was a remarkable feat showcasing the power and efficiency of Binance's intervention. Uh, but this kind of audacious theft is not an isolated incident in the crypto world. In fact, it seems that some individuals will stop at nothing to get their clear video contained in fact in senses because of trenches or captured factoring in major will help us take the demand clear making actions as well as not delivering the city of the ability to mail to biases as the black and the developed not tie claim to have lost a significant amount of Bitcoin and sought a refund through forceful means. And fortunately, justice prevailed in Wynn's case. Ty and his gang members were apprehended by the police and faced trial. Ultimately, 14 out of the 16 culprits were given prison and sentences ranging from 9 to 19 years. It serves as a reminder that even in the world of cryptocurrency, criminals can be brought to justice. However, CZ's success in recovering the stolen assets did raise some questions about the decentralization of crypto. Some enthusiasts expressed concerns about Binance's ability to freeze users' assets at a big city so that we were likening it to the control exerted by traditional... In response, uh, CZ emphasized that users have a choice when it comes to storing their assets. While centralized exchanges like Binance have the power to freeze assets, Individuals can opt for non-custodial wallets where their assets remain inaccessible in any third party. And so the next time you hear about a daring crypto theft, remember that there are heroes like CZ and exchanges like Binance working tirelessly to protect the interests of their users. And as for the criminals, well, and they find themselves outsmarted and empty-handed. And now here's a little joke to lighten the mood. Um, why did the cryptocurrency go to therapy? Uh, push me um, because it had some serious blockchain issues. How, uh, with that said, thanks for watching and until next time.